Hey everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge .blogspot.com. This is it. Today is the day I am finally, finally building my desktop. Okay, so we're back in the office. I'm gonna give you a quick tour and explain to you what I'm doing today. It shouldn't be taking too long, but it's still kind of tedious and it requires a lot of precision in measurement. So let me show you what the office looks like right now. Uh, if you remember, last time I left you, I had painted those two and you can tell I already started putting the stuff back on. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because that's gonna be part of the after tour i've emptied the entire side here because this is where the test stop is going to go from here against this wall all the way across the room to the other side and then of course my husband's desk is still there and then this is the other shelf which i've painted it required three coats by the way and everything is back in already and again i'll show you that once i do my after tour so what am i doing today um first of all the wood I was going to do, originally I wanted reclaimed wood. Turns out that reclaimed wood is more money than regular wood. And in case you were wondering where have I been, because I've got a lot of messages and request for another video on the office well the issue is that my husband was doing freelance for just about two and a half weeks i didn't have access to the office at all so that's the reason why this is coming a little late and you were wondering what's going on with the office i did not give up on the project i just couldn't get to it so anyway back to the reclaimed wood reclaimed wood is more money than regular wood I also decided that I didn't want to use the same type of wood I used for the um, bookcases. This is just construction pine. It's not that it's difficult to work with, but it just doesn't give a nice look. So I went to a different lumber yard, not the Home Depot. I went to an actual real mom and pop lumber yard here in my area and I purchased mahogany. They are a five and three quarter in thickness, so they're a little bit um, thinner than the ones that I've purchased before that were the wood planks. They are absolutely stunning, but they will need refinishing. So I'm still trying to figure out what kind of refinishing I'm going to do. If I'm going to stain them with a clear uh, stain just to bring the natural color out, or if I'm going to do linseed oil or true oil, I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of researching that right now. But I couldn't get one single big plank because this has to be 29 inch or so in depth, I guess. I had to get, they only had them in eight inches wide, so I had to get five of them. And of course they need to be notched, in particular the one that goes around the window here. So the one that goes against this wall right here, that one I'm gonna have to notch it to fit exactly because the desk is gonna be basically flushed or a little bit over the uh, uh, windowsill, even though it's gonna look kind of funky, but that's basically what I gotta work with. now. How am I going to install this? I'm going to use what they call um, angle iron and I'm gonna show you that when I go to the garage. Uh, they're basically um, 90 degree angle brackets that are made of metal that I'm gonna put on the wall here and on the other side and all of my boards I'm gonna pretty much sit on those, all right? Then I have to use clamps to get all the boards together. I'm not gonna glue them or anything but when you buy um, wood, no matter what, it's not always straight cuts. You always have a bow, it's either a natural bow or a bow that was created by the lumber yard. So what I have to do is make sure that all of my um, five planks of wood get joined together into one basic piece. Then underneath it, I'm gonna have to put some uh, pieces of rods of metal and then those are gonna be screwed in from the underside to kind of hold them together. You'll get the point when I'm showing you what I'm doing. So right now what I need to do is measure the length of the wall um, or the length of the uh, desk from one wall to the other. I have to cut at least one of my planks. I'm gonna show them to you in a second when I go to the garage so that I have one piece that I can use when I'm putting my um, angle irons to just place right here across the entire room so I can level it because I have to do one here, one angle iron over here, put my piece of wood over it so that way I can measure the height as to where I need to put the second iron angle to make sure that I'm level here 
I'm level over here in the middle and I'm level on the other side. All right, we're back in the garage. So here's the wood. I have four panels here and then the last one is over there. I'm gonna show you what mahogany looks like. This is untreated raw mahogany. Uh, when you get it, it comes in obviously different um, colors because this is, I'm not saying it's a different tree, but obviously it's a different batch. So some of them have the beautiful red you would expect, but if you look at it from the side here, you see how they kind of like wax them a little bit to the side. You actually get to see the um, natural colors. So the desktop is going to be pretty much this kind of reddish brown, which is typical of mahogany. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm selecting the boards that I want to be um, on the top and on the edges. Some of the boards are perfect. Some of the boards are just so-so. So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of like flipping them and then repositioning them so that I have pretty much the perfect or at least close to perfect desktop. So if you remember, I just told you that I had some different colors. So what I'm doing is um, pretty much Instead of having the two light ones and the two dark ones, I'm having a darker light, a darker white, a light, and then the other one is another dark. So it's going to give me kind of like a pattern within the desktop itself. And my first cut is going to be for the first one that's going against the window. And that's the one I'm going to choose um, to level everything. So this is pretty much squared away. So I don't have to worry about this. However, if you look at the other side, you see how this is damaged. So this is the part that I need to kind of cut off and I need 129 and a quarter. That's going to be the full length of my desk. All right. So I did my uh, cut and before I go upstairs, this is what we call an angle iron. It's basically a piece of uh, aluminum, um, but it's pretty, pretty thick and sturdy at a 90 degree angle. So one part, the one right here is going to go against the wall and my boards are going to rest against this one. So what I got to do right now is I already measured um, basically the width I need for my entire desktop and I need to cut, see I already marked where I'm going to cut my two pieces. So I have to get my uh, saw um, and cut those pieces. And once I've got that done, I need to drill holes along the side here. These are gonna be the holes that go inside the wall. And then I need to drill holes alongside here. These are going to be the holes for the screws that are gonna go inside my mahogany desktop. in the office I have one pre-drill hole you can see it right here and you can see that I also countersank it just a tiny bit with a bigger bit I did not do the rest of my holes why because I want to make sure that I'm leveled and then I also want to find the stud and they're really not that difficult to go through anyway so I've already made my hole right here I'm not going at an angle this time I'm just going straight because um, I'm gonna have different ones going this way. I have my four inch screw. I'm just going to go right in. Then I'll level it. I'll find the stud and I'll start marking the rest of my holes. I'm probably going to do an additional four, no more than five holes in that particular angle iron. So I'm putting a whole bunch of stuff here to try to hold that plate or that iron angle rather for me so that I can at least start drilling without this fine falling. There we go. All done. do is level it okay perfect and be ready to drill my other holes I made a scratch right here so I gotta be a little bit careful um, 
I don't think I have a stud here. I may have one over there. So I gotta find my stud finder and get moving, do all my holes here, and then use my board, which I already brought, put it across and see if I can get it leveled with just my two hands on the other side of the wall. And once I have that done, then I can add all the rest of the boards, all right? All right, so my next stud is 16 on center, which is right here. So I already marked where I want my drill hole. I'm leveled. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a hole right there. I'm not gonna go through the whole wall. I'm just gonna make big enough of a hole for my screw to go through. Once I have the hole, then I have to count the sink it. I'm, sure I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really easy. So, just gonna go ahead. And right now, again, I just wanna make the hole for the screw. That's done. I'm changing bits. And to kind of sink it, what I'm doing is taking a very, very large bit. And I'm gonna go over the hole. I'm not going through, I'm just leaving a mark. I'm gonna show you what it looks like once I'm done with it. I just wanna make a nice dent, enough for the uh, screw to just kind of, um, you know, get into that kind of sink area so the screw doesn't pop out on the side of that uh, iron angle all right so you see all it does is pretty much create a dent so that the head of my screw would kind of like wedge itself in here and this whole area here will be pretty much like this right here almost flat So that's pretty much what it looks like. All right, let me do another two on this side and I'll probably do two on this side. All right, so literally this was the project from hell. Absolute project from hell. I could not for the life of me find the studs. Eventually on the right side, I found the stud. It was at 11 and a half, not 12, not 14, not 16 on center, but 11 and a half. And then on the other side here, it's at 14. So I don't know what to say other than obviously this is an old house and they didn't follow codes. So here's the first board, right? Look at all the little holes. All right, so this is the work I did. Okay, you see that? All these little holes are my desperate attempt at finding a stud. I've used the stud finder, the laser, whatever you call it. This is a stud right here. That one is at 11 and a half. There's no stud here. And this is about 16 inches worth. So there should be one, but no, there is none. So I don't know what to say. Um, it is solid. I mean, I know it's not going to go anywhere. Plus, um, I mean, the weight is going to be kind of distributed alongside of the um, angle iron. And then remember, there's a cabinet right here anyway. So this is perfectly uh, leveled with the window seal. And then on this side, I have one um, that's going into the wall here in the stud in the corner. And I have the one that's at 14 and I am not even going to try. I did a little bit try to find another stud, but this is not going anywhere. So my next step is to measure the dent here because whatever you see here i have to reproduce over here because this technically the part of the window seal right here is supposed to be dented in here so that way the part that's here is flush to the wall right so i gotta get my t-square i'm gonna probably cut the rest of the wood downstairs um in the garage and bring them all up here and then i'll show you um how to dent or notch rather this one board and then how I'm going to put all the other one it's another four together so that they are all flush to one another and I have perfect seams in between each board just to make sure you understand what I'm talking about you see this part right here which I measured this this right here is actually the part that goes right here 
So technically, I'm going to remove all of this right here with the jigsaw, right? And I'm going to keep all of this and all of this kind of like this L shape. That way, once that's removed, this board will get flush against the wall and this part of the windowsill will basically come into this notch right here. So I'm about ready to cut my notch and in order for me to go around with my jigsaw, I had to make a big hole right here. Just with the, uh, the regular uh, drill, but like a big bit here and then on the other side. So that allows me when I go with the jigsaw to go like this and make a turn. Board number one is in. All right, so of course the walls are not straight. So you see I have a little bit of gaps here and a gap over there, but that's all right because all around here and on the side, I'm gonna put a quarter round molding. So it's gonna kind of like finish it off a little bit uh, or a lot. And see the uh, the bow here. So I don't know if it's my board that's bowed, but I really, really believe it's the wall. You see the gap here? Yeah. You see that? Okay, so the gap is not the same all along, right? And this is what it looks like against the window. Don't mind the tools on the seal. And then back here. And same thing over there. So this is nice and sturdy. I'm going to pull out a little bit. Now I have to cut the rest of the boards. Again, they want 29 and a quarter. So there's four more going in. And I'm going to try to, like, you know, flip them around. See which one looks best. This is a dark one, so the next one is going to have to be a light one, and a dark, then a light, then a dark. I am going to stop after that because it's uh, already 7.30. A good thing I'm shopping the pantry tonight, so I'm not going to have to make a lot of dinner. It's just going to be uh, frozen stuff and leftovers from last night. And the uh, when I see you in a few seconds, that will be the next part of the project um, in which I'm going to clamp the boards together. All right, make up my wood, fit it, and show you what it looks like. All right, so board number two is in. And this is the light one. So now you see, look at this. You see how they kind of bowed and stuff? All right, so don't worry about that because uh, they're right here. Okay, so imagine that this is the underside, right? I'm gonna have these things right here that are gonna pretty much hold them all together and they're gonna get screwed in. So that's going to bring everything leveled and I'm gonna have a minimum gap. I mean like really, really minimum. But once I clamp them all together, all five boards, there's not gonna be any gap at all. I'm gonna try to show you right here. You see the gap? All right, so if I push, uh, I can't do it. Oh, I have enough strength in my hip, but anyway. So this is board number two. Let me go cut the third one and I'll show you what it looks like. And board number three is in. See, I'm loving it already. So, and again, they kind of, you know, sagging and bowed and that's fine because they're gonna get all straightened in and clamped. Um, originally at TM1, a counter that was gonna be very wide, but my husband insisted on getting the same width than the desk that he currently has, which is 29. So one, two, three, four, and five, it's gonna be um, yeah, just about 28 and a half or 29. And his desk is 29 and a half. So he's basically losing about maybe an inch and a half, but that's all right. Um, yep, it's looking good. Let me get the fourth one. What are you doing here? How did you escape? How did you escape? What are you doing? Where's your sister? Where is she? Hello. All right, go back downstairs. Go, go. There's no food here for you. Go back. And here you go. They're all in. All five boards. So now, of course, like I mentioned, there are big gaps right now because I didn't clamp them yet. When they get clamped, you see they get all together. I have, um, yeah, so when you push them on one side, of course, there's a bigger gap on the other side. But once they get clamped, there won't be any more gap at all. So that's pretty much what the counter is going to look like. All right, so it's dinner time. I put the clamps on, you see? So it totally removes the gaps. There's no more gap in between the boards. I'm going to leave that 
overnight. Um, it's not removing the bow that's natural in the plank itself, but that's going to be um, taken care of once I have my metal bars in between. But so far, that's what it looks like. And I bid you good night because I am done for the day. Hey, welcome back. This is day two of my countertop. Um, it's all in the same video. All right, so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm tightening all of my boards. If you remember, I left you off with the two clamps that I used to tighten my boards together because they were bowed one way or the other, all right? So now I'm in the process of placing these sort of uh, bars or brackets to bring the boards together on the horizontal uh, level because you see how they kind of off because they bowed um, the other way. So I already did one right here and i'm using self-tapping screws by the way so i don't have to drill so i'm gonna have to go on the floor and show you here we go all right so i'm putting those bars and i'm staggering them so i have one that goes towards the wall the next one is going to go towards the front the next one is going to go towards the wall right i have a total of six so what happens is that as i'm placing screws and again i'm staggering my screws i'm not doing all of these screws first i'm doing this one first then i'm adding the one right here right then i'm doing the one over here then i'm doing the one over here and i'm going back and forth so as i'm tightening those screws what happens is that it brings the boards back together now i'm not doing them um tight all the way one because i don't want to um damage the wood two because i need to have more of those brackets going around um all the way to the end and then once i have all of them placed what's going to happen is that i can come back and tighten all my screws and then at that point i can remove my clamps all right all right so i'm lying down on the floor i have my drill and my screws and my bracket Right here, I'm going to start with putting it, uh, putting the screw on the other side. To get a few screws here in advance, and here we go. So here we go. This is done. It's been pushed back against the wall. Of course, I have a few mix here and there so i'm gonna have to do some touch-up painting but pretty much this is what the counter looks like let me pull back as far as i can so you can really see how it's taking the entire length and it's completely suspended at least for now now of course it's moving a little bit but that's because i don't have the cabinet here um to give it strength in the middle here's another nix right here and then right there at the end i do have a bigger gap so the next thing I need to do is screw these ends here to the angle line that's at the bottom right here. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to have to push this one in so that when it gets screwed in, it's um, straightened. I couldn't get the uh, uh, clamp on this side. And then the gap that's against here, because the wall is crooked, I'm not worried about it. again because I'm going to put some kind of molding here. And I may do the uh, either curved one or straight, I don't know yet, um, but it's going to be solid wood and the same color than the stain I'm going to do for this counter. You see? Now, on top, all I'm going to have is the uh, monitors and the keyboard and then our big mouse pad thing, our drawing board, whatever you call them, uh, with the stylus. Uh, because we do uh, graphic designs but there's not going to be anything else now once this is all affixed to the uh, uh, bars here on the side and the cabinet before i'm ready to put my monitors i'm going to take my big uh, hole drill bit whatever and i'm going to make big holes here for all the cables to go through that way there will be no cable on the surface as well let me show you underneath it's got that very industrial look with all those bars you see them um, underneath to solidify my entire piece but pretty much this is it um, it's leveled it's beautiful it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous with the stain on it and yeah now that I see that there's a lot of light coming here I don't think I want to do too shiny of the uh, finish because otherwise it's gonna constantly be bothering my eyes um, even though I'm gonna put some curtains there but this is it counter is done all right so um, the next step here is to screw the uh, um, 
countertop onto the angle and iron the angle iron right here it's pretty easy I have to pre-drill my holes I'm using um, three quarter of an inch screws that are gonna go directly into it it's gonna give it more strength even though it doesn't look like it needs it right now because it's really really solid I do have a T apparatus that I made out of wood it's just like one bar that goes this way and one bar that goes that way which I'm going to put here temporarily just to give it a little bit of uh, uh, strength as I'm waiting to build the cabinet so here I am super excited I finished my counter it's done it is done check this out it's done so here we go full counter um, these have been fixed you remember the gap that was there all I had to do is put a screw so I have screws here and screws all along and I just have to put hello hey. you like it yeah what do you think good let's not draw on it I'm Question. not uh, the computer's gonna go here yeah for me and then daddy's monitors and computers are gonna go there wait 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 the computer that I used to use to play my games on uh, uh, yeah but I don't know if we're gonna do that again because viruses? No. You, well, said he can, you said he can use it when you're done. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Now, if I was to look at this right here, look at my bubble. Nice. And if I'm going this way, look at my bubble. Very nice. So I am leveled anywhere you go. Here, perfect. It would be very nice if I didn't have to put a cabinet underneath, but I need to for my uh, printer and my scanner. If I didn't have to put a cabinet underneath, I probably would put a big angle bracket, one of those metal bracket that would go um, all the way on the wall right here, and then it would probably come all the way up to here just to give it um, the support and I would have this counter with absolutely nothing in it. It'd be beautiful. Look at my floor. Made a big mess, huh? All right, so the next step and the next time you will see me, I will be building the cabinet that goes underneath. That's the one that's going to have, again, the printer and the scanner and probably the uh, Wi-Fi modem, whatever they call it and those are going to be on shelves with wheels so I can pull my drawers in and out and yeah that'll be it. Um, the one thing I want to see right now because I'm a little impatient is whether or not my file cabinet fits right there underneath. Mama forgot to measure it. I have no idea whether it fits. I'm assuming it does because uh, it's a standard height but I'm going to go get it and find out right now. Look they were made for each other. I um, may have a little tiny space in between, but when I'm sitting at my desk, I can just go ahead and get all my files. That is just perfect. So, my space will be this space right here, then there will be a cabinet, then my husband will get the same amount of space on the other side. Perfect. Okay, so this was Sophia from my great challenge.blogspot.com. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I know I skipped a whole bunch of steps. I just needed to do this, all right? Um, sometimes I just don't have time to film and it's just not practical for me to do so. So I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this project. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost, almost done. So like I said, next time I'm building the cabinet, what I'll probably do is paint it in white. Then the next time after that, I'll do the floor. I'm not going to show you the stain on the uh, um, top because it's uh, you've seen me do that on my stairs, so I'm not going to do that again. It's pretty much applying a coat of min wax over it. I haven't picked the color yet, so that'll be a surprise for you. It's probably going to be um, in line with what I'm going to have on the floor, but I do want the red of the mahogany to kind of shine through, in particular the grain and um, what they call the ribbons in uh, in the wood. I want to see that. And then I'll install the, uh, you know, whatever, crown molding. No, not the molding. I'll install the molding around it. Um, that's going to be all around here and here and here and here. And then same thing here and here. So, how many videos do I have still for this office? Um, I think this is number 14 or 15. I'm not sure. There's the cabinet one. There's the floor one. And then 
the curtains oh I forgot I got to do the fan so but that's gonna be part of the curtains I won't do a separate video for that and then there will be a final tour and I will be done so I probably another four to five video for this entire project um, started the last week of January first week in February if you remember so we are the first week in May it's been a long long project but I hope it was worthy for you to stick around and keep watching all right Again, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you later. Bye!